Hey everyone, it's Carrie. Have you been having problems with your succulents but you really just can't pinpoint what might be wrong with them? Then I'm going to tell you to test the pH of your water. Stay with me and I'll tell you why. If you haven't already subscribed to my channel, I hope you'll hit that subscribe button and the notification bell and that you'll like this video. This is a subject that I've been wanting to talk about for a while because it is something that I've had problems with here with my water. So let's talk about the pH and why it matters. So on a scale of zero to 14, and this is the pH scale, seven is neutral. So when you go above seven, you're getting alkaline. And when you go below seven, you're getting acidic. So succulents actually like to be slightly acidic. And when I say slightly, I'm saying 6.0 to 6.5 on the scale uh, is the acidity range that they like. So how do you test your water to see if it's alkaline or if it's acidic or if it's just staying at neutral. So these are some of the products that I use in the greenhouse when I'm taking care of my succulents. Uh, I use a miracle Grow all-purpose uh, plant food. I use this at a quarter strength and I put this on my succulents about once a month. So I'll mix up, um, I think this is one and a half gallon uh, pitcher here. I add my miracle Grow first and then and then I test my water to see what the pH is because sometimes this will lower the pH so I want to put this in before I test my water and then if my water is very too um, acidic I'll add pH up this is general hydroponics I ordered this off of Amazon this is pH up uh, it raises the nutrient solution pH so if it's too low I will add this and quite honestly, I've only had to use this twice. So it's usually um, too alkaline, which means I have to make it more acidic. So this is General Hydroponics pH down. You can also use a natural product like um, vinegar. I only have to use this little dropper to do the measurement with. So this is a pH tester. This is from Vantacool. And I also ordered this off of Amazon. It's got a probe here in the bottom. It has a little cap. I calibrated it when I first got it and it comes with instructions on how to do that. I take the cap off my tester, I turn it on, and it will go to zero on the display. Okay, so I put the probe down into the water and it's in there just enough that it, there's a, that it covers the slit. So I make sure the water covers all the way up to here. And right now I'm testing at, I'm going to wait for it to stabilize, I'm testing at 7.48. Just because this is for my succulents, I'm going to add this much, which is a teaspoon of miracle Grow all-purpose plant food. I stir. And then I test again. So we went from what 7.8 down to 7.02. So remember I need to be at 6.0 between 6.0 and 6.5. So I need to lower my pH. So with my dropper which is done in milliliters I'm going to start out with 0.50 milliliters. Drop that in the container and I just kind of rinse it out so the acid doesn't stay in my dropper and I give it a stir and I test again. So now we're at 6.27 so I'm in between the range. That works great for me. That's all I want to do. And that's all it is to testing your water after you've fertilized, after you've put your fertilizer in, test it to see what the pH is. So nutrients are available to plants in the optimum pH range. Um, too acidic can be toxic to plants, too alkaline can cause them to not be able to take up their nutrients. So if you're having problems with your succulents, this is one good place to start. 
Um, a soil tester is under $20. The nutrients, the, um, the acid. This product contains phosphoric acid, citric acid, and mono ammonium phosphate. And like I said, you can also use vinegar. But um, these products are not real expensive. They last a very long time. You're using a half a milliliter at a time. So it's something that you can incorporate into taking care of your succulents that I think will really benefit you. So take this into consideration, look it up online, see what information you can get. And I'll also put this on gardenrudiments.com. I'll put a, an article on there that explains more in depth about the pH and how it affects your plants. But check this out. Get you a pH tester, test your water. Like I said, you can also test your soil, and I do that out in the garden. I just don't do that here in the greenhouse. All of my plants are really thriving right now. Our weather has been really good. Today is very rainy and cool. We're actually in the 50s, but after today, we'll be back up into the 80s again. So it's just gonna be a really nice weekend. So I hope you've enjoyed this. Um, this is not a complicated thing to do, so I hope I didn't make it sound complicated. It's actually very easy. Thank you for watching and I hope you'll join me for the next video on Garden Rudiments.